invisible cloak from Harry Potter using Python. Before we get started, let me tell you about a dream I had last week. So I wake up in Hogwarts on a stormy night. Mm, let me just show you the dream. Lights, camera, action. Oh yeah, masks are a must in the visiting world too. So now that I have your attention, let's get started. Undoubtedly, one of my favorite scenes is the invisibility cloak. And I'm sure most of you would have dreamt of having an invisibility cloak in your wardrobe and do mischievous drinks without getting noticed. Well, here I am to turn your fantasies into reality. Let's break down the program into three steps. Step one, the program has to open the camera of your laptop. Step two, it has to save the background image. Step three, we want the program to replace the background image in place of our invisible cloak. The code here is another simple one. As most of you requested me to explain the program, I have dropped comments alongside the program. Let's first begin by installing the requirements. Firstly, install pip. Pip is the package installer for Python. Secondly, those who have got pip, consider upgrading it by the sh code shown on the screen. Later, use the pip command to install OpenCV. As I already have them installed, I'm getting a prompt message saying requirements are satisfied. However, for you, if you're installing it for the first time, along with OpenCV, NumPy is gonna get installed. Do note that the updated version of NumPy is corrupted, so I recommend uninstalling it and reinstalling it with the previous version using the commands shown on the screen. Once all the requirements are met, let's get into the code. The code starts with import CV2, which means computer vision. That means to enable your webcam on your computer. The code is written for the default computer on the laptop. However, if you are using a USB webcam, consider replacing the 0 by 1 or 2. Once the camera is open, code it to capture the background and flip the image. As the default image captured by the camera is inverted, consider flipping it. Here, I have created a while loop to make sure that the camera is working. Convert your RGB into HSV as HSV detects colors better and more vibrant so your background stays accurate. The next part of the program is where I define the range of the color using the range bar seen on the screen. As you can see there is red on either side of the range bar. So we consider the red on the left and the red on the right therefore covering all the ranges. At the end of the program, we add mask1 and mask2 together to mask1, therefore covering all the ranges of red. The next set of program does the work of replacing the background image in place of our cloth. In my case, I have considered a red cloth. And if you want to change the color of the cloth used, you can consider altering the ranges present in the array. Once all that's done, we configure a key, in my case C, to break the entire loop and close all the windows. And now, finally, let's watch our invisibility clock in action. 
Once you run the program, the LED beside your camera will automatically turn on. Do give the camera some time to perfectly capture the background image and avoid the color red in the background. And now, watch me surprise Ron and Harry. Harry? Happy Christmas, Ron. What are you wearing? Oh, Mum made it. Looks like you got one too. I've got presents. Yeah. There they are. Your father left this in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. Well, I got one too, Harry. We might well end up opening the same. What is it? Some kind of cloak. Well, let's see them. Put it on. Yeah. That's my mom's red shawl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! My body's gone! Oh dear, my body too. <laughs> I know what that is. That's an invisibility cloak. No, no, Mr. Weasley, it's just Python and Open CV. Really rare. Not rare anymore, mate. I do gave it to you. No name. It just said use it well. You heard Mr. Potter guys. Better use it well. And that's how the invisible clock works by Python. And lastly, press C to close the window. Do grab the code from my GitHub account and if you like the video give a thumbs up and share with your friends do comment down below your doubts or connect with me on linkedin thank you for watching and have a great day